Hey, welcome back to Blar. Today we're going to take a look at these Hot Wheels Stars and Stripes series, 1 through 10. So I grabbed them all. Some from Dollar Tree, some from Ollie's. So I got the whole collection. So let's open them up, check them out. Hey, welcome back to Blar. Let's see, we got all 10 cars of the Stars and Stripes series, which I got from Dollar Tree mostly. And then I picked up a few $2 ones or $1.59 at Ollie's just to complete the set, make sure I had every single one of them. So it was a pretty cool collection. And the fact that we had a collection in the same plaza, because Dollar Tree and Ollie's share the same plaza, made it pretty easy to go grab them all. Uh, all right, so let's just take, um, we'll go with one through 10. I'm gonna pop them open because I don't feel like keeping things in packages anymore. So let's clear this out a little bit though. Keep them somewhat in order. All uh, right, I right, have to do to move this up a little. All right, so let's take a look at number one AMC Javelin AMX. Uh, I'm not too familiar with that car. Actually, I know I remember AMC and the Eagle that they had. Here's your. Uh, Oh, to complete the flag. So I guess this whole thing connects together on the, um, huh, that's pretty cool. So it'll complete a flag if you have all your cards. Now, I think knowing that, I was like, hey, do I keep them in the, <laughs> in the package so I can complete the flag? Nope, because I don't want to. So let's check this one out. Very cool paint job. Stars and Stripes. Uh, looks very, it's got the year on here. So it looks very 70s. So they're all similar, they're all mostly 70s muscle. Yeah, I'm gonna give the year, well, okay, the 68 over here, okay. Just wondering if they were trying to make them all like 76 or something like that. So. So this is the AMC Javelin AMX. Very cool. Number two, 71 Plymouth Hemi Cuda. I do know what that is. Cuda. All right, 71 Plymouth Cuda. A muscle car. Oh, I didn't see the headlights on this one. And a little bit of grill detail, which is nice. So these are all nice looking cars so far. The white walls. Very cool. Two. And number three, which is what I did with it. GTO, 1964 Pontiac. maroon well that's brown <laughs> the camera looks a little more reddish but yeah it's definitely brown kind of that classic silver do these have that on the back white and black i feel like i remember the silver back or bottom as a kid a lot with a lot of these cars a shiny grill this little blacked out grill stars with flames some stripes down here Pretty good looking car. Probably my least favorite of the three so far. But still pretty cool. Number four. Number four. Looks like the eight Hemi Barracuda. gray Get the fender well over that front tire there that intake I guess um, it's an okay looking car 
feel this one is probably not doing the real life counterpart justice. Kind of got a fast back there. So do we look at the tail ends of these? Fin. Let's make sure. See everything. All right, number five is <laughs> Chevy Blazer. So this is a looks like a probably a seventies, probably the rival of the Bronco. Um, I'm not a fan of the Chevy Blazer. I had one. I think it was like a '99. It was pretty terrible, but I have to say the four-wheel drive part of it kind of helped me out during the winter time. At one point in time, but mostly it was a headache and just really not a good vehicle at all. So I would avoid the 1999 Blazer. At least the one I had was not great. So this one with a little bit darker blue, blue flame stars. Uh, got your gear up there, I guess. Not sure what that is. I guess this. I guess it's lifted like a monster truck almost. Gold wheels. Not bad looking. I think I'm just biased because it's a blazer. All right. So what was that? Number five. And number six. Number six. <coughs> It's the El Camino. And GMC made a similar car called the Sprint. Kind of the car truck thing. Which you think you would get better gas mileage, but it didn't. It got pretty bad gas mileage. At least the Sprint did. Number seven on there. Kind of Stars and Stripes theme, of course. Got a little Hot Wheels logo back here. It's kind of cool. All right. El Camino, or gray. Uh, what's up? Number eight, Plymouth Duster, Thruster. So I got the very, very blue paint there. Looks cool. Again with gold wheels. Stars pinstripe is nice. The red stripes on the side there. Oh, no hood. Open hood. Plymouth on the back. Uh, from the side, similar to a. Looks a little more like a, a Nova, which is you now sign of the times. Pretty cool in car. Plymouth Duster. No, oh. <laughs> that was number eight, right? Let's get number seven. Number seven was the Camaro. So we see them all, right? It's all right. Red Camaro. These wheels are inset a bit. So it's got the year on this one. Yeah, 1970. Always oh, kind of reminded me of a shark for some reason, in a good way. Always like this, this Camaro. Like the 60s and probably this Camaro, but the last one started getting a little more rounder, you know, and Firebird looking. And I guess the late 70s. So this is pretty cool looking. Uh, Hot Wheels logo up there. Right front. A simple stripe down the middle. Three pin. Well, not a pin, sorry. Three stripes on the side. Another gold wheel, because gold wheel is kind of thing going on here all right so back to somewhat in order number nine 68 barracuda super stock hemi nice looking dark red again with the gold wheels so stripes on the hood not all the way through though so not all the way across the top Not bad looking. Oh, 
Wait, which one was out of order? This one? No, something like that. Can't remember. So that was number what nine. And the last one, number 10. Got a 76 on there, it's pretty cool. 68 Mercury Cougar. Got the gold numbers on here. Very, very 70s looking. Reminds me of uh, Evil Knievel. This isn't a bad thing. It's pretty cool. Hot Wheels logo on the tail. I like that. The uh, Put the white and black on the front. Yeah, this one's pretty, pretty good looking. It's nice Hot Wheels there. So here are your 10. Not sure which my favorite is. I like them all actually. These are all. This is a good collection. It's a good looking set, I think. Um, I mean, I like the way the American flag looks, so that helps. <laughs> uh, I don't know which is my favorite. I really don't. Um, I'm leaning to the, or it's the first two, kind of. Just because I don't know about, don't really know about this car, AMX. Um, this one looks good. Yeah, good collection. So I'm a Dollar Tree dollar. Of course, Hot Wheels are usually 99 cents anyway, but um, looks like they were initially $3, I guess, when they were in regular stores. At least from the Ollie's tag here. The uh, Ollie's are $1.59. So I think it's worth it, especially when you get the whole collection. Looks pretty cool. Thanks for watching Triple R. Have a good day or night, wherever you are.